Not getting civilized is about having a savage mentality. Civilized is something where people, um, it's, a, it's, it's a comfortable world. A lot of us say, you know, like for instance, I see these athletes right now who retire, you know, I'm 38, you know, I'm 39, I did 20 years at the top of my game, and I'm chilling out now. You see them a year later, and how they look. What the hell just happened to you, dude? What the hell? You're one of the greatest athletes of all time. Kids looked up to you. Women, men of all ages looked up to you. And they hit the pinnacle where it's time to retire, and their mind says, I'm civilized. The worst thing that could ever happen to any human being is they become civilized. It's that total accountability. Like even when you retire, there's a mother looking at me and judging me right now, man. I'm, I was the baddest person to ever live. It doesn't go away, man. You got to wake up. Even though you retired, you never retired. You're setting the example every single day of your life. And being civilized feels so good. I'm sorry, man. Once you get to the top, you may retire, but you ain't never coming back home, man. Because now you're judged. People see you falling off. You want to be that guy who knows I may be retired from the sport or forever I did, but I'd be damned if you ever see me looking like shit, feeling like shit, not arriving. People, I've arrived. I've arrived mentality. You're always setting the example. Civilization feels so good. These comfortable feelings are what people want. They want retirement. They want that. They need that. They, it's, a, it's a yearning feeling. I want it too. People love putting a label on me about, my God, man, you're just wired different. I'm not wired different, dude. I'm thinking right now, after I got past my stuttering thing, now I'm on a roll, I'm good now. You know what I'm thinking about right now? I got to wake up tomorrow and do the same shit again. I got to leave this interview and go stretch out for two and a half hours. I hate that. <laughs> but guess what it does though? I'm constantly callousing over my victim's mentality that I once had growing up. Every day you have to do this shit. Because why? When you stop doing it, you don't just maintain it. If you stop shooting a gun, you're not going to be a great shot if you pick a gun up a year from now. The only way to keep from getting rusty is to constantly over that mother the machine. The machine exists. You got to keep challenging it every day. The way that I think about that is very, very similar. And I've got to imagine this is one of the things that makes you one of the most misunderstood humans on the planet is to me, driving that hard, being that hungry, pushing long after everybody stops has nothing to do with anybody but myself. And what I, my drug of choice is how I feel about myself when I'm by myself. Like nobody knows how hard I work and nobody's ever going to know. Not even my wife is up enough to see how much I really work. But it doesn't matter because the way that it makes me feel, like in this moment right now where I get to say, ah, the world doesn't know I could be lying, but I would know. And the way that I feel right now because I know how true it is that nobody's out working. That to me is the juice. And when people understand that what you're fighting to build, the reason that I'm wearing a shirt that says, what would Goggins do? The reason that I chant Goggins, like the crowd before we started rolling the cameras chanting Goggins. The reason that's so resonant is because they want to do something for themselves. They want to feel some kind of way about themselves. Now that you've become like this big ass speaker, what do people come up to you and ask you the most? How do I do it? How am I able to do what I do on a daily basis? You know, how do I fight the demons? Because they hear me speak and I'm very raw and real. How do you fight my insecurities, all these things? And uh, I, they're there every day. They're there every day. Like you said, I'm in search for a feeling. I'm not in search for a trophy. I'm not in search for love. I'm not in search for more followers on Instagram or social media. When I started this journey years ago, and I realized that I'm going to be somebody, and I'm searching for a feeling, a feeling of true victory for myself, and only myself. The second I shut out the whole world, 
and realize that one thing, that I am in this world alone. I'm fighting this race by myself. Yeah, I'm all about people, I'm all about team, I'm all about that shit. But I'm really all about right now and in my life, just like you said, no one knows the real truth about me, how hard I really go. I don't care if anybody knows. I don't want anybody to know. I'm an introvert. I live an introverted life. And I love that about me. It, that right there is my fuel. Is I know that there's really no one out there grinding like me. And if they are, so be it. If I know about you, I'll make sure that I up my game. <laughs> That's what the mentality is all about. My whole thing is a mentality thing. Like I told you the last time I was on the show, I view myself as the weakest person on the planet Earth. My goal in life was to, in my mind, believe I'm the hardest man alive. And that's why the whole thing is, can't hurt me. That's what it's about. It's about whatever you think you are, you have to make that dream a reality. But that's where the hard part is, is making that dream a reality. That's where the hard work comes. That's where people know, how do you keep grinding every day? You have to make those insecurities, those fears. Like when I was 300 pounds, I didn't have any drive. I'm gonna go be a Navy SEAL. What kind of stupid shit is that, 300 pounds? It wasn't like a drive to go be a Navy SEAL. I was an insecure, lying kid, afraid. I had to look in my insecurities and in my fear and find drive in that. We're all looking for passion. Passion's all around you. You have a whole, a whole stack of it all around you. It's your insecurities, all that shit. You gotta dive deep in that shit. All the, it's, it's all in there. All the energy and fuel you need is right in yourself. It's all there. You got a lot of stuff to do to overcome. And you know, that's where I found it. I found it right there in my own insecurities. I found drive in my own insecurities. And that's, that's the most powerful thing in the world. When you can find drive in your own doubt, fear, insecurities, you become very unstoppable.